Hello everyone, this is Valhalla Gaming TV, and we're back with Choo Choo Charles. We're on episode 2, and we got the purple train right there. It's right in front of us. Alright, let's get back into this game. Okay. Now, we got the purple train. Let's get, let's see what we're doing next here. Journal Returnal. That must be where that guy's stuff is, way over there. So we can take a right turn, or I'm gonna go left, and then I'm gonna go back. That's what I'm gonna do. Let's take a left turn up here. Let's go forward, and then we will go to the left. I gotta remember how fast this thing is. Oh, it's already pointing left. Good. Head and left. Yum. See how hard that turn was? Alright, we got an NPC, and we also got the journal we gotta go off after. Where is the NPC? We're coming to it. With this fast train. Alright. We're stopping too early now. I guess with the speed upgrade, it stops faster too. There we go. Let's keep an eye out for that Choo Choo Charles. And scrap. Alright, we got some more scrap here. And, oh, we got a note. For the past seven days, there have been some strange happenings in nearby boulder fields. A week ago, I went over there to clear my mind, as I often do, and I found strange drawings pinned to a lamppost. I took down the page and burnt it, because it seemed like the best way to deal with the paranormal paper. The next night, I found even more drawings and burned them as well. I found exactly 16 drawings, multiple nights in a row, and now they're accompanied by horrific, ghastly noises. I don't feel safe going out there again. My best guess is the place is haunted. Maybe by our lost crew members. Maybe by something else. I don't like that paranormal stuff, man. Hey, who are you? Say, you're that monster hunter. I must know, do you have any experience with ghosts? Uh, yeah. Someone or something has been pinning exactly 16 drawings to lampposts in the boulder field every night. I always collect and burn them, but as I was looking for them last night, I began hearing strange noises and seeing strange things. I only found half of them yesterday because of the commotion. Could you go find the last date and bring them to me? Like I can. Don't really want to. I go get some creepy pages. Where are these things at? Oh, we gotta go all the way over there. Okay, before we do that, we're going over here. Um, I got lost. Lost in a circle. Alright, we're gonna go forward real quick. Bring the train with me just in case. Then we'll come back to her. And break time. There we go. Let's go see if we can find that journal. For Santiago. What is that? It's like an altar or something. Go check that out in a sec. Okay. Wrong button. Let's just jump into the door. That works. Some scrap out there. Where's that journal at? Not seeing it. I must be missing something. I'm gonna go to that altar in just a sec. Got some scrap back here. And over here. We need as much of that as we can get. All right, let's go see. Is this good? Man, I think this might be a trap. What is this? It's like a sacrificial altar or something. He said his journal was here. All right, let's take a quick look real quick. There's nothing. Santiago left his journal at home and needs you to bring it back to him at port. He will pay scraps. Don't tell me I... Okay, I'm done. Don't worry about it. There we go. We got it. Apparently I thought that was the back door. I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen. And there's scrap here. Alright, let's... Let's back back up. Let's forward. Let's go this way. 
We gotta go stop over here and then go into the boulder fields and go and get those eight ages she's talking about. Go deal with the paranormal. In boulder fields. I got a bunch of lanterns, but no lanterns are on. It's all... They're all off, man, but that one isn't. Okay, I guess we gotta look for lights. And blood. Oh, God. Okay, I think we gotta hurry. Sounds like a time limit to me. Look for the lights that are lit up. Oh! What the heck is that? Grab that. Okay, there's a time. There's ghosts. There's another one. That's three. Another one up here. Grab it. Four. I don't know if I missed a turn or not. Five. Guess we're just going full circle. Any more lights? There's one over here. Six. Oh, God. Look over here. I don't see any lights that way. Here it is. What's up? It's right on my back. Where's that last light? Hopefully it wasn't back there. I think we already went to this one. Did the lights turn off? Nope. They don't. Which one did I miss? I'm all lost now. There it is. Got it. Let's, let's get out of this place, man. That was messed up. Hey, that was the scariest part of the whole game so far. Freaking Sasha. Wait, she does that every night? Yeah, no thanks. She already did half of them. I guess she took off after that. This is the last time I look for paranormal pages. At least in this game. Sasha, I'm back. Oh, scrap. I got your creepy pages. Thanks for bringing me those papers. Here are some scraps for your help. Thanks. Better be a lot. Let's go see how many we got. Let's get some upgrades to the old big purple. Purple train. But we got 92. Damage armor and we can't do those okay so I, I found out last time i was saying things wrong so that's level nine and then it's 24 scraps to get that we gotta go back up i was saying it was like a random thing but it really wasn't one of my watchers pointed it out all right i hear choo choo I hear him. You know he's coming. All right, here we go. He's coming. I know he is. Flip it. Get back. Get back. Go. Where's he at? I heard him, but he's not here. Ooh, a mission for a weapon. I want that. Maybe we escaped him. I somehow highly doubt that, but I don't see him. That's right, Choo Choo. I ain't playing. We're too fast for him. That's how it happened. We got out of there because we were way too fast. Train is super fast now. And hit them brakes. A little early. And brake. 
There we go. Let's keep an eye out for Choo Choo, though. He did make that noise, so he might just show up. Hey, what is that? Paul asked me to design a new weapon to help you hunt Charles. And using my extensive demolitions experience, I made this rocket launcher. That sounds good to me. I've been wanting to see Warren's empire crumble for a long time. So building this puppy was a hell of an opportunity. Now that you're here, I need a few minutes to remove some safety features. While I'm working on that, why don't you bring that box of rocket ammunition back here from inside the bunker down the rail? Of course it's not as simple as you handing it over to me. Never got it prepared. Okay, we got another note. I'm stuck debating if Warren made us bring our families to this hellhole so that we'd never need to leave or to keep information about his business practices away from the mainland. Either way, I want that man in a noose. Paul asked me to design a new weapon for the monster hunter that Eugene is sending. And knowing what I do about explosives, you bet I made the most powerful rocket launcher I could. Warren, you don't stand a chance. Cool. That's like exactly what he said downstairs. And he wrote it down. So we can read it again. What a thoughtful person. Go get that scrap. Okay, where is this rocket bunker break-in? Oh, there's a, one, a mission all the way down there too? And this must be an egg somewhere near here. Let's go get that rocket launcher done first. Where is it at? I didn't even mark it, did I? Mark it. Oh god, no. No, no, no. Never mind. I, I lied. I lied. Choo Choo's coming. <laughs> Choo Choo, no. Beat yourself up. Where's he at? Where's he at? Oh god, there he is. Come on, Choo Choo. You can't handle all this. Yeah, that's right. Enjoy your fire. This flamethrower is pretty awesome. It doesn't do very much damage, though. Let's flame him. Let's hit him one more time. And then switch it. Yeah. It does more damage. But it doesn't push him back very much. I think I like the flamethrower better. Don't overheat. Don't overheat. Come on, Charles. Stay back. Oh, God. Okay. Before we took the turn. Where are we at? Oh, my God. We're so far. Oh, we're going to have to go back to Santiago, too, at some point. All right, we're backing up. We missed the box, didn't we? There's another one over there. I'm not too worried about it right now. Let's just get this mission done. Way too much business going on there. The flamethrower is way better on keeping him back, but the, the gun does more damage. I wish I could just switch him. Is there a button for that? I don't think so. No, you actually have to do it by hand. All right, we're about here now. Boop. Brakes. Let's head in. Scrap. This looks like somebody might be here waiting for us. I got some TNT here. Was I supposed to grab that? I guess so. All right, we got dynamite. I think I saw some scrap. I sure did. So we got to go in the bunker and go get the ammo for the rocket. I wonder how good that gun's going to be. About to test on Mr. Choo Choo Charles. Oh, okay. Open sesame. Oh, I should have got back a little bit more. Dynamite's got an area effect radius that was enough to half my health. What is with all the blood in these places? Ooh, backing up on that one. Okay. 
These bombs do not give up. Ooh, look at those. Oh, look at that. Yes. Scrap. All right. Rocket launcher ammunition testing. Version 1 failed. Version 2 failed. Version 3, 13 second flight. Version 4, success. Okay. Had a couple failures, but I guess we got the successful prototype. Hopefully he gave us the right one. Okay. Now we gotta go back to... John Smith. Yeah. Let's go back to him. Let's go get our rocket. You know, and I'm gonna go back all the way to Sebastian. That's what I'm gonna do. No, not Sebastian, sorry. Santiago. Like Anchorman. Santiago. There we go. Go back here, go get our rocket, go to Santiago, give him his journal, and come back here to the blue icon, and probably go find that egg. Because we got one out of three. Oh, hit the brakes. Yeah. We got it. Give me that the gun. launcher is in complete working order, so I'll let you take it from here. All right. Oh, and take good care of it. After you're done, I have a few people to visit with it if you catch my drift. Yeah, I catch that drift. Getting achievements. Let's go check this building real quick. Can't open it, but there is scrap around here. There's some more. Okay. Let's go give it back to the guy on the dock. Santiago. Right here. He's got to back up. While we're backing up, we got 46 scraps. That's enough to level up. Damage is up. I guess we can repair. Might as well. That's some scrap right there. The things we do for some scrap. And back we go. All right. Santiago better give me some good scrap for this. Gotta go way out here. He's too scared, so he's just sitting over there at the dock. Doesn't want to get any help. Just wants to play around. Make me do all the work. I guess that's what the whole thing is when you're playing these games. You're just uh, doing fetch quests. This train keeps making noises that I'm thinking like it's Choo Choo Charles coming out of the distance. It's making me nervous. I saw that. Musical lovers. Okay. I saw that scrap over there. Oh, I missed a bunch and a note. We'll go to the note in a second. Ooh. Any more? Oh god, we gotta go. We gotta go. Oh, he's here again. Oh, I was gonna do this. Alright, time to try it out. Where you at? Where you at? I heard him. I think we're just out running him sometimes. Kaboom! Oh man, that's got a drop off on it. Okay, let's back up a little more. There we go. I think he just, like, roams around. Unloading all the supplies has been an incredible eye-opening experience. Here at the port, we've been working all day, every day. We are asked or tasked with unloading the boat and running supplies up the hill to the tracks, where Theodore and Eddie delivered them to the different sites we'll be mining. 
The sheer cost of all the infrastructure is mind-blowing. With all the success Warren's family has had in this business, I'm surprised he's choosing to take such a risk here. Eh. Let's get down. God, a fall damage. Who needs legs when you got a train? I'm gonna have train legs by the end of this. Yep, definitely train legs. Scrap. Scrap. Scrap commander. You better give me some scrap too. Thank you so much for bringing my journal. You're welcome. I would hope, for your own good, that you didn't peek inside. But, um, here are those scraps I promised. Yeah, that guy had an altar and everything. How's he gonna leave his, like, alt, alt, uh, like, journal back at his house and have somebody else go get it? And he's hiding stuff. Alright. This better be a lot of scrap for that. Gives me like 10. Let's get moving. Oh, more scrap. I guess I missed that too. And we're off. How much I get? 63. Alright. Damage up. Oh yeah, we almost got this fully upgraded. Heavy hitter. All right, we're going to this NPC. Let's go get that egg. Probably got to sneak past some people. Come on, speed racer. I do want to test out that rocket launcher, though, so... Hopefully Charles shows up. Give him a little, uh, explosion. Maybe have some fireworks. It'd be pretty sweet. It's got a drop off, but it does have like a secondary explosion too when the uh, rocket goes off. And we have made it. Oh, I guess we didn't go up the stairs. Scrap. Who's this guy? Can I read that? I need to write this theory down fast before Warren finds out that I'm onto his dirty plot. My theory is that Mr. Warren, Warlord th or Warlord 3, is trying to hatch and raise more of these eight-legged creatures. A whole army for who knows what purpose. They found a whole nest of those eggs while clearing out debris from the cave-in. We also know that they are as hard as diamonds, completely indestructible. The miners spent months using the temple prison to suck the energy out of all the eggs. But before they could destroy the last three, Old Man Warren stopped them. Warren must have realized how powerful these things are. Rather than protect us from them, uh, wants to uh, use them and take over the world. I'm on to you, Warren. Greg, genius extraordinaire. I I'm sure Eugene told you all about me, so I need not introduce myself. Uh, n n name's Greg, by the way. Hey, Greg. In case you haven't heard already, Warren, the mine boss, is keeping three monster eggs locked away. I've heard of this. We're unsure why he wants to protect the eggs. If they hatch, they would surely turn into monstrous creatures like Charles. To prevent this, we, we need you to steal all three and, and use them to bait Charles so we can destroy him. Uh, one one of the eggs is is in the north mine. Uh, here's here's the key to the entrance. Thanks, Greg. Thanks for the key. Appreciate it. We've been out here hunting eggs for a while now. Okay. What? Oh, it's way over there. Okay, I thought we were right next to it. All right. Well, we're going this way then. Let's go see what this uh, person needs. Extra scrap. I'd imagine I'm going to have all the scrap that I needed. Like, I'm doing every mission, so... At, at some point, I don't think I'm going to have anything to upgrade. And then, I guess we'll use it to heal the train, but... I guess I'll do all the quests, though, because I, I definitely want to get all these achievements. Look at that. It's cool looking lighthouse. And the birds. What's this? Okay. Must be part of the quest. Grab that scrap. And we got a note. 
Uh, Ocean Watch Day 68, please deliver a copy to Paul. I went outside to do a routine check of the lighthouse. As I walked around the corner of the building, I saw the beast, Charles. He spotted me and charged straight up the hill in my direction. That spider train is a hideous monster. I can't understand why Warren wants us to stay on Aaron, Aaronium. Uh, instead of trying to escape the beast, I suppose Warren has simply gone crazy, thinking he can handle this situation on his own. In any case, Charles ran right over me, trampling my leg. I won't be able to attend the upcoming meeting and have asked Greg to uh, bring back a copy of your notes, if possible. Blair. Okay, she got stomped on. We haven't met, but I've heard lots about you coming to help us. I have a favor to ask. The breakers on the side of the lighthouse need replacing. I was recently attacked by Charles, so I'm unable to do it myself. The breakers are in the nearby supply shed. If you go get them and repair the lighthouse, I can try signaling passing ships to come help us. Once you finish, I have some spare scraps to give you. Nice. Okay. Let's go get them breakers. Let's mark it. Go see what's over here in the shed, and we definitely need to get a, a boat out here to save these people. Like, I don't need saving, because, you know, I kind of got my train, but these people definitely need saving. There's one, two, three, four. Alright. Is there anything down here? More scrap. I guess just scrap. Okay, let's head back. I don't want to spend any more time than I have to out here. Let's go put those breakers in the wall and get this lighthouse lit up. Got that scrap there. Boom. Okay, we got one of these. That one's first. The sensitivity is weird. There we go. Oh yeah, look at that. We got ourselves a lighthouse. Fixing the lighthouse will definitely increase our chances of being spotted. Here are those scraps I promised. Nice. Alright. Let's get back to our train. And then we got two... Oh yeah, we gotta go over in this area. So, let's see. We don't want to take a left. We're gonna have to go all the way around to get there. Let's get back to the train. I'll look at the map again once we're moving. Don't want to be sitting there on the map the whole time and then Mr. Charles comes there and gets us. We got no shame as a train. So those three eggs, I'm imagining that it's going to be like, uh, it's either creatures like Charles or maybe, maybe that's like the babies or something. I don't know. I don't know how these creatures work, but clearly Charles doesn't want them destroyed. And that other guy's helping. And we're going to go all the way up here. We're going to the North Mine. We're making progress. We're almost done. Wonder how that fight's gonna be. And I think we're gonna find Charles on the way. Oh, yeah, let's look at this. 57 scrap. Boom. Fully upgraded. Nailed it. Almost impenetrable. Alright. We're going straight to the NPC. No stop. Oh, man, I just noticed. Look at the horns on the front of this. And I see Choo Choo Charles right up there. I saw him in the distance. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's him. That is him. What you doing, Mo Trucker? Eat it. Take the rocket. I'm the best shot in the West. I was kidding. I kind of suck. Boom. Reload. Reload faster! This rocket sucks! 
This rocket definitely sucks. Okay, okay. We're going straight to the flamethrower. Flamethrower is the best. Oh, man. The track's turned. You messed me up, Charles. I'm gonna say it goes flamethrower. And then it goes, uh... We're gonna go with a machine gun, then it goes rocket. Rocket sucks. There you go. That's right. Don't run. We gotta go back now. He just messed us up. Maybe it'll take us that way. Uh, no. Where's it gonna take us? Okay, we're going left. And it's gonna bring us all the way back here, then we'll have to turn it to go right. And that must be the temple over there. That's probably where we gotta do the eggs. Oh, there's somebody walking over there. I'm keeping the flamethrower on this thing. Oh, where are we going? Ooh, we might be able to do this one then. Because clearly it just turned us over here. Alright, I'm gonna go right to this location. And we're gonna go running. We're almost here. Brakes on the left. All right, I'll just keep that. Oh, what's going on here? Get him, boy. Oh, what's going on here? Oh. <laughs> Did I just run him over? Oh, they're shooting at my train. Alright. We're coming back, we're coming back with... Machine gun. Where you at? Where'd he go? Ooh. Turn around. Shoot this, Mo Trucker. Alright, let's back up and stop. Alright, there we go. There's one. Yeah, you messed with the wrong Mo Trucker. Thought I saw another one. Okay. Let's go, uh, let's go check it out. I don't know who you guys think you are. What is that? That's a hole. Can I open that? It must be part of a quest. Okay. Let's listen out for uh, Charles' horn and let's roll. I don't think he'll be here for a little while because we heard him. Let's run over here. We gotta get all these quests done. That looked way further on the map. I guess not as far as I thought it was. Yeah, we killed all those guys. Got them all. Alright, we got ourselves a tower. I'm thinking since we don't have no upgrades, we might need the scrap for healing when we do that final battle. Hey, aren't you the new guy who's come here to work for us? Sure am, Ronnie. You must be. There's something at the top of these towers that I need. And don't worry, I won't make you work for free. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a nice enough guy to pay you. You see, Mr. Warren never told anyone from the mainland about his mining operation here. He never even reported the cave-in. He hasn't paid us since then. Our living quarters are atrocious, and I'm far overqualified for the pay I'm supposed to receive. Top it all off? None of us miners ever received copies of our pepper work. But that doesn't affect my subordinates as much as someone with my status. You said pepper work. I'm gonna sue the pants off of Warren once I escape this island, and I need those files to prove that he breached our contract. He keeps all his files at the top of these towers. I 
could explain how I ascertained this, but I doubt it would make sense to you. Problem is, he erected these towers years before we ever started mining, and now they're falling apart. I could scale them myself, but since you're here, go sniff around for those files. <laughs> As a reward, you can have one of my useless pieces of scrap. I bet you'd love to have it. <laughs> Man, people changed the market and just made it terrible. Doing all this free labor. Climb the tall abandoned towers to find the missing files for Ronnie. Well, if I can sue the guy as well as take out his monster, sounds good to me. Let's do it. No, no way. No way. Oh man, how far away are we? Oh, and the train needs healing too. This ain't good. Am I going the right way? Oh my goodness, I don't know. I don't know. Just keep running. There it is. Is he coming? Oh, he's coming. I can hear him. Kill the train. Choo choo trials. I'm just trying to do side missions, man. I need achievements. I'm gonna wait a few more seconds. If he doesn't show up, I'm running back. All right, five, four, three, two. All right, let's go. I think he was just strolling through. Come on, we gotta get up in those towers. Once we get this done, we can get over to those other NPCs and we'll be on our way. There's those birds again. Gotta move quick. Okay, door's open. Got some more scrap on the ground. Said they're falling apart, so we probably gotta jump across stuff. Yep. Okay. Jump button. Parkour. Ooh, what a jump. Got some scrap. Anything else? We can go down the stairs in here. Scrap. Ooh, paint. Got some lime paint. That's locked. That is not not working there. Do I go around? What do I do here? Oh, I probably gotta jump up here. Parkour. There we go. I work our way around. That's a jump. A jump we probably gotta do. No wonder this guy was like, I could do it myself, but I don't want to. Ooh. There goes my legs. Who needs them? Oh. Got a letter. Setting the foundation for this operation has been considerably more complicated than I expected. Not only by cost, but the logistics of construction and delivery of supplies to the primary mine sites. We'll need to strike gold fast if we want any chance of avoiding bankruptcy. Yeah. Ooh, don't go down there. Okay, we gotta jump. There we go. Where's this paperwork? We're in. Filing cabinet. Nailed it. That's it. Okay, let's get down here. Ooh, don't fall. We're gonna fall down this one, though. Out. Right in the legs. Give us our stuff, man. We're getting out of here. You look like a monkey climbing those towers. I am <laughs> half monkey. I sure am glad I found these files. Here's that scrap you were begging for. 
Don't spend it all in one place. <laughs> this guy's a gosh dang comedian. Don't quit your day job. Hiring people to jump uh, over towers for papers so you can sue people. Alright everyone, that was the end of episode 2. This game is awesome. I'm really enjoying it. And well, I think we're going to have one more episode left. I think we're almost to the end and we'll be able to wrap it up on episode 3. For all of you guys that are still watching this and made it to the end, thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in episode 3. Later.